Evil Softman here, back for another vid, yes! In front of the camera this time. Yeah, it's been a while in front of the camera. Hello! Um, yeah, it's just been... I kind of haven't bought anything to really be in front of the camera. I haven't been tagged, so I haven't had tag videos. Do not get ideas. Um, and sometimes I've just been generally tired, so most of the time it's been gameplay vids or trying to do the Mega CD stuff or... So... I've been doing a little bit of tests and everything for the uh, getting the capture card working. I have got footage. It's getting there. I have been able to get footage off of it. It's just a little bit jumpy. I have to figure out like settings I'm happy with. It's just a, that's not what we're here about. I've been away for the last few days, which is why nothing went up over the last weekend or week or so. It's I was down at Amicon last uh, the last few days, which is a big anime festival, anime uh, convention here in the UK. Uh, I say, like, in relation to US, it's going to be, like, tiny. It only has, like, about 1,500 people. But for a convention here, that is pretty big. Uh, like, for example, Okinawa only has, like, about 500 or so. And that's, like, the biggest one in Scotland. So, I haven't really been up on my anime, which was really proven. Um, well, I did the quizzes and everything. And I haven't really watched anything in, the, like, the last two years. Uh, and it showed because <laughs> I knew nothing. <laughs> it was like doing the openings. It was like ah, I know nothing. <laughs> Saying that they had the SNES round, and it was like all SNES tunes and that. So I was all right there. But this is me to get back into anime. I you get there and the conventions and they sell things at reasonable prices. If anyone's like being into HMV. You'll see like uh, Ghost in the Shell box sets and they're selling them for like 60 quid each. It's like ridiculous. So I'll tell you how much I'm paying for all these things as well. So this is all these big pickups and it will be a quite huge pickup of anime stuff. And I will put it in France that these are series that I've wanted for a long time and they are a lot of them are really quite well known. They're not obscure ones. You'll know basically these ones. But... The first thing I bought and I found in the bring and buy was Maho Rheumatic. And this is the first season. And this is a really good series. Uh, all about how basically uh, Android has... Well, she's been defending her for like nine years. And she's given a year to live if she doesn't actually do combat... And she said, well, what do you want to do for this year? So she basically says she wants to be a maid and she goes to work for this guy. And there's a bit of backstory between that and her and the guy, though he doesn't know that. And it's a really, really fun anime. A lot more nakedness in it than I actually remember there being. But that's probably my complete ignorance of not watching it in a while. My old flatmate used to have it and we watched through it. So ah, that was the first season. That was £15. Then in the actual dealer's room, I found the second season. And that goes for £20. And they were brand new. I've just opened up the bags of them. I stupidly thought in the dealer's room I found series 1 and 2 there. And I got it for £10. So I got this and their ADV ones. That was Pioneer ones, the first series. And this is ADV. So I thought there was season one and two, and it's not. So I've bought the same thing twice. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. So maybe if anybody wants them, I've paid like £10 for them. They're still sealed. They're ADV ones. If anybody wants them, just send me a PM or something. I might send them over to you. See what happened. My sister was talking about maybe giving it to someone. Right, the next one is maybe sacrilege for never actually seeing this. But I have never... Watch Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> so I start. I've got the start of that. I found the first six volumes in the Bring and Buy for five pound. So I thought that's a good start as any. I know just two left to get, and then maybe see about the new ones. I know they did Death and Rebirth, and it was meant to be even more messed up. And what was it? Then they've got the new ones out. They're like the HD, and they've redone everything again. Um, there's like five different versions of the manga and everything, but that was only five pound. I thought that's six discs. They're all there. Can't complain. It's not going to cost me too much to go find two discs. 
I know they're not the platinum versions either, they're the standard versions, but oh well. Have to start somewhere. Um, next one, I went over to the Bees Desk. The They do a lot of the, I mean, actually a lot of the stuff I got here was actually Bees. Uh, well, some of the stuff here. And so I am a big Gundam fan, so this is Gundam C Destiny. Which I know a few people are quite against, but I actually really enjoy it. Um, so I have all of Gundam Seed already. They're the thin pack versions, so it's like uh, five discs and one and everything. But that was £25 for the whole entire series. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I already have Seed, so that's Seed and Seed Destiny now. And as well as that, I got all of Gundam Wing. And these are the remastered versions of Gundam Wing or something. What is it? Yeah, remastered. It must be um, some ex it's like sharpened up and everything. And that. So that's quite smart. I've never actually watched Gundam Wing. I went straight for the Seed. I watched Seed, Seed Destiny, and I've watched some sporadic episodes of Double O. And I think I watched the first episode of Gundam itself, but... It's been a bit weird on and off, but I, I probably will be going through them. I do want to see gun, go through like work through Gundam, then Z Gundam, and then Double Z, and we'll work. We'll get there. Um, the next volume is another show that I found in the Bring and Buy. Now this is Martian successor Nadesco. And this is an awesome series. It's really, really funny. And it has like this mech anime inside the mech anime. It, it's, this one's much more comedic than say the Gundam. But they have this thing called Geki Gengar and it has the most awesome soundtrack to it. And it's, it's just, it has like its own intro and everything. And they're, they're all watching this show inside a show and it's actually really cool to do that. Um, I found five discs of this quite cheap was it like a tenner or something and then found the six disc on its own for three quid i know there's a movie to go with that that finishes off the story which i will find i know there's one to gun down wing as well which is endless waltz so i will be getting them it's just that i haven't got i didn't i didn't find them uh well i found endless waltz but they weren't like 15 16 quid for it i was like fuck off it's a film um the next one I found for, was it 15? Could be 15. Um, this was Comic Party Revolution. Now there is like Comic Party and then I think there's another one in between. But these, this is a really, really fun anime. It's all about how um, they're like manga, they're making doujin, doujinshi, which is just like fan made manga. And they're wanting to put them out at these uh, comic parties, which are like Comic Ket. There's like the big ones in Japan. And they're wanting to sell these on. And they have to do like certain issues and everything. And then you've got the girl at the front here in the in the red. Oh, should I? I her. And she's met. she was like his friend. Or she kind of girlfriend, but thing. But she doesn't really watch it, except... She does, she just doesn't like to admit it. So you'll find she just references things and does this whole kind of great things like that. This, the, ne the next thing I found, I found in the d uh, Bring and Buy in the last day for a pound. I thought, worth a punt for a pound. And this is uh, Millennium Actress. Now, I heard good things. What was this? They do, what was it? Something blue. I can't remember what exactly what it is. But I'm pretty sure that's the same person uh, was it Tokyo Godfathers and stuff like that so for a one pound I think I think this is a good film um what else is it oh we've got the big few box sets at the end here I haven't got for the eye so next one was over at the MVM one and this is Samurai 7 the whole box set here it's like a thin pack thing but that's the whole season of that that was 20 pound which I thought was really good. It was like, wow, 20 pound for a whole box. It was like, sign me up. Now, I've been wanting that for a little while. Uh, reason being, me and my girlfriend were actually watching Magnificent Seven a few weeks ago. And we both wanted things shit off of it. I've seen Seven Samurai and I prefer Seven Samurai to it. So I wanted the anime version. I wanted Samurai Seven. She wanted the 
um, American series, you know, the TV series that had uh, Michael Bine and, uh, and Ron Perlman in it. So she's bought that and I've bought this. So it's, um, it is actually quite good. I think it's meant to be quite interesting. I don't know if it's meant to be amazing, but I think it's worth that. For 20 quid, that's a 26 episode thing. That's not bad. Uh, next one was 15 quid, and this is even better. This was Ally Goddess. Now, as you can probably tell, most of my things are either mech or funny harem kind of... Well, not not really harem. I'm, there's bits in Comic Party, and there's bits in Ally Goddess, and there's bits in Matter but they're not the main pretense of it. But I love these kind of shows. These are the kind of shows I really like, and I know there is a second season to Ally Goddess, Plus, there's the mini goddess stuff and the movies that came before that. And I saw the mini goddess thing for 15 quid, actually, to bring and buy. I never bought it. Probably should have. Um, but this was at 15 pounds for the whole first season, and it is a really, really good season. A really good thing. All about how an angel comes down to help people because he wishes for he wishes for help, and she comes to help him and everything. And then she has her sisters and that, and it's. This is a good series. I'll remember more. It's been a while since I've watched it. And the last one is something I really, really should have picked up a long, long time ago. But I found it and I finally have it. And it is the amazing Cowboy Bebop. Now, to be fairly honest, I've never watched too many episodes. I've watched, like, maybe one or two but now I have all of it, so it's going to be good. And again, this has a movie to finish it off, which I will find because it's fucking cheap as chip. You can find it for like a fiver anywhere. Um, but yeah, that's my... That's, that, that's all about... Oh, I can never remember. It's like I said, I, I've watched like one or two episodes, but it is awesome, and the opening is just amazing. Um, but uh, that was 20 quid. So all in all, I've spent round about £200. I spent some things on my girlfriend as well, and I had to buy food and that and everything. But I right, Amicon itself was really good because it has, like, your... Uh, the masquerade thing. And it was, like, all these people in cosplay, and it was really, really good. Um, just amazing cosplay costumes. Then you had the Omaki, which was... Um, Kind of like a talent show thing, but people anime based, and that was some of it was really good. Some of it was questionably shit, but um, always is in them kind of things. Um, so it was like some really good things went around. I I love the quizzes, so we went to the pub quiz plus the name that tune, and we always get them about halfway. We always get some of it, but we don't get we don't get close to competing. Apart from it was a gamer quiz, we won the gamer quiz in the pub once. So that was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we bought a bloody crate of tenants and we're like, oh no, pish water. So, yeah. That is my anime pickups. And I know there's a few people that have been waiting for anime because I I never mention it, but it's just the fact that I don't really watch too much apart from the stuff that's on my Crunchyroll subscriptions. So this is hopefully going to get me back into watching a bit more anime and that. I need to get some newer stuff. So any recommendations of like newer stuff that I should check out? I kind of like the look of uh, Detroit Metal City. Darken and Black, they look quite good. Um, I am going to get Gurren Lagann. I've seen it. I was going to buy it, and I didn't do it. Because I saw a thin pack version for 31 quid of the whole season. And I thought I would go to do it, and then it was sold out when I went to go and get it. I'm loving this new 15, 16 minute thing, by the way, and the timer thing. So I'm going to let this, this is about 14 minutes. So, all right. This is Evil Sloth Man, out.